and everywhere we look. Uh, in fact, if we just look out here, I'm pretty sure that the President, uh, Joe Biden, is arriving in the beast just behind us uh, as those guests enter the West Gate. If we come onto our camera now, uh, no one else would be in the beast. I'm going to say it is the President of the United States, Joe Biden, arriving now. Let's just turn, Andrew, if we just step out of show. There's no, well, there's no it's stars it. and stripes, so maybe not. In this one, ah, here he is. There we go. I think in the second vehicle, normally, yes, that is the there President, is. Joe there's Biden. The president. And Jill Biden arriving at this moment. Angela, we might just step aside and yes, see if indeed. our cameraman can get a good, clear shot of that. We'll leave that shot on and uh, I'll step as far out as possibly I can. I'll keep going this way. But well, this I is can... the arrival of uh, the most senior dignitary, of course, the President of the United States, um, in a much smaller than normal entourage that he's used to doing. Um, but we'll just wait. Obviously, all of his security detail gets out first. The President doesn't budge the doors on that beast, that, that uh, Cadillac uh, bulletproof, bombproof, everything bars. proof. Uh, not the easily open. the cameras as they open the door because yeah. every one of the cameras below us are trained now you on that car, on the man waiting to open the door to allow the President of the United States and the First Lady to exit the vehicle and, and President, make their way uh, towards Joe Biden's on the right-hand side of the vehicle, so we'll see him stepping out that second. There he, comes. There he is. Jill Biden, the First Lady, stepping out on the left-hand side of the vehicle. Uh, this is, of course, uh, and will be the most photographed of all of the arrivals of dignitaries. The President of the United States arriving for the state funeral of Queen Elizabeth II. Members of the, the King's Guard standing to attention there as they pass through on their way to the great west door, being met by the Dean of Westminster before they make their way into the Abbey itself. I don't think anyone's going to ask him for his invitation to prove who he no is. No invitation necessary on that one at all, Angela, you're correct no. about that. It's very interesting um, that he arrives now because we are now about 30 minutes away, yes. uh, 30 to 40 minutes away from the procession actually uh, starting out of uh, Westminster Hall. Uh, but the president arriving uh, we would almost certainly believe then that the uh, close members of the royal family would be leaving Buckingham Palace at the moment too to get ready for, uh, to take part in the actual procession uh, behind the Queen's coffin on that gun carriage now that the President's in place. There were some other uh, heavily armoured vehicles that arrived before. I'm not too sure who they were as we were in our news, whether they're minor royalty from other places, but uh, a, s a few separate vehicles under escort apart from. But by the far, in the majority, Angela, everyone's been arriving on these... Uh, on the buses. Uh, on the buses, literally yes. on the buses. Indeed. In fact, I can now tell you that half the British Cabinet arrived in one of those right. buses. We know already that Nadim Zahawi arrived. He's, he's the Minister for Equality. The, the Chief Minister medical officer Chris, Chris Whitty, who is the man during the pandemic that we saw on our televisions every night telling us, you know, how many of us were getting COVID, what the situation was with the Nat National Health Service, that we should go and get our injections. Um, Chris Heaton, who's the um, uh, Secretary of State for Northern Ireland, Sir Nick Clegg, former MP, um, the Liberal Democrat leader, Ed Davey, they're all arriving in these coaches and being led yeah. into their places. We saw also some of the Australian delegation arrive a little earlier, the Australian of the Year, Dylan Alcott, uh, entered through the side entrance of the Abbey there amongst those invited guests. And even as we're speaking right now, watching those interior pictures, and as we can see, the majority of those 2,000 guests are now assembled, but it's the top tier dignitaries that are still arriving. And it's a very slow procession under police escort as that bell of the Westminster Abbey chimes on the minute every minute, 96 times. President Joe Biden, First Lady Jill Biden, now, so entering the Abbey to take do. their seats well, as well. Michael. And I noticed that he's, mar he's not sort of strolling up the aisle. They're, they, they're doing that slow, measured walk, which is almost a half march before they take their seats. And behind us, yet another series of coaches arriving. Many of these are dropping uh, many of the guests around the side entrance and using this uh, side of the Abbey too to keep on moving, I think, as well. Yes. 